is really simple. It's about being versatile. And that's the opportunity that the younger generation has that perhaps we were the first to get there. When I came to Ghana, I was a print journalist only, and you were a columnist, and that's it. And then I went from there to doing radio, and then television, and then producing, and directing, and producing content, and it was a progression. The opportunity to be versatile. So now I write Business and Financial Times in Ghana, CNBC, Wall Street Journal. I cover many areas that 20 years ago, you couldn't be doing that and writing in the daily graphic. So my encouragement to the students is to be versatile, read a lot, be prepared to cover a lot, because there is nothing in isolation in Ghana. There's nothing in isolation in the world. Everything is connected. And if you have that mindset that says, so where is this going? So what does this mean? You, it won't take you 25 years to be on CNBC. It will take you two years because you will have that ability to do this 360. So for me, power is being versatile, challenging yourself not to be in a straight jacket. I just want to report the news. I just want to be a director. I, just, so I want to be everything. So people say to me, what do you do? Everything, <laughs> obviously. So that's power. To me, power is being versatile and being prepared to be versatile and have that courage. And I find this organization very powerful, an opportunity to bring three, four generations of women in the media. I prefer to say media because you can be in the media without being in front of the camera. You can actually own a station. You can actually be a shareholder in a successful radio station or television station. You don't have to be in front of the camera if that is what you want. It is up to you. I find this to be very powerful. I was in Rwanda making a presentation and it wasn't going very well. And this, is my <laughs> this was my get out card. A very tall person whose name we shall not mention was drumming on the table because everything that I was saying was not going according to what, now, do you know Elizabeth Ohini? And I thought, she's my auntie. <laughs> so I would encourage the young journalists in this room who are here today to take advantage. There are so many, I see Wendy, I see I'm all the way in the back, back in the day of the Chronicle. These women can hold your hand. They're not patronizing you. They're encouraging you. They're challenging you. They can hold your hand. Be versatile and challenge yourself. That's power.